Good morning. Early morning requirements suck. I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful week so far. I wanted to share a thought I had about waiting until a product is perfect to put it out. If you're waiting to put out your writing product because it's not perfect enough, you're waiting too long. The One of the founders of LinkedIn once said that if you wait until your product is perfect to put to market, you waited too long. And I can't remember his name. Someone else echoed the same sentiment, but he, essentially he said if your product isn't embarrassing, if it doesn't embarrass you, you waited too long. Now we as writers often can be perfectionists. We want to make things sure things are exactly the way they're supposed to be, but there's something to be said for finishing your story and just putting it out there. I have a lot of stories to tell. And some of the stories I've already put out there, I've self-published a couple of books. Those books, several of the books I put out before are really bad books. They're not very good books. Now, at the time, I thought they were great. But as I get older, I look back and go, wow, that really aren't as good as I thought they were. And part of me really itches to go back and change what I wrote. But I can't go back and change all those books. Now, t technically I can. It's one of the benefits of books. You can go back and change books. But if I waste my time, and I say waste, if I waste my time going back to try to fix old stories, I will fail to write newer, better, more interesting stories that either I was inspired to write a, year, a long time ago. I wrote down a list of all the books I want to write. I have 60 more than 60 books, very lightly outlined in summary form. Some of those are really great stories that I will never get to write if I keep going back to try to perfect old books. Now, there's a time and place to go back and fix old books. That's called the editing process. But once that editing process is done, let it go. Now, it's one thing if you're going back and using that to sharpen your teeth to get better. But don't use that as an excuse just to go back and fix every single thing you've written in the past. You have better stories to tell. I know you do. Because life keeps inspiring you with new ideas and say, ooh, that would be a good story. That would be a good story. We'll write them. Plan them. And then go write them. Now, here's the interesting thing. In your own life, are there stories experiences, things, that's, things that have happened to you that you obsess over, wishing you could go back to fix, that is that are preventing you from writing new stories? Are you obsessing over your past and missing out on an opportunity to write a newer story in your own life? Books, we can go back and fix. Life is not so easy. But you have to make the decision to stop pining over old stories in order that you can go write new ones. Now, if you have the opportunity to correct a wrong, to go ask forgiveness, to go give forgiveness, to heal a relationship, go do that. That is very important, especially in order to write newer stories to move forward. You never know how the characters in your past might serve you well in your new stories. But stop worrying about fixing those old stories and start focusing on writing new ones. How many new great experiences in your own life could you be writing by living them out every day? But you're too busy wishing things had been different in your past. Folks, letting go of your past is not an overnight decision. But through forgiveness gived and received and letting go of your past and at least trying to move forward. Sometimes it's not always so easy. New stories can be written. New wonderful stories that are waiting to be written. But you have to decide to let the embarrassing, hurtful, difficult experiences of your past go. It's not an easy decision to make.
And yes, you're, sometimes you're going to look back and go, ooh, I wish things had not happened that way. The same way you might look at an old story and go, why did I write it that way? But folks, as I've said in the past, you were who you were when you wrote that original story. When you're writing, that's the kind of writer you were. That is the language you understood, the writing method you had, and today you're a different writer. Embrace the fact that today you're a different writer. And then move forward with your new stories. Have a great week. I'll talk to you later.